ladies and gentlemen, welcome to expedition number 63. I'm Jason Colley from Braff PA Bigfoot Research Group, and we're going in the Area X region to see if there's any Bigfoot activity there. So, strap on your boots and enjoy. It's going to be a fun ride. All right, folks, so we're heading out right now, and uh, we're going to go try something here and uh, see if it if it works. Hopefully it does. Uh, we're going to try an idea here. We're going to go out here and fly the drone. We're going to see what uh, happens. So, all right, let's rock and roll. A lot of these areas in these locations are just, uh, there's trees that are covering the trail, like pushed over on the trail. And, hey, unless they're growing like that, there's something that is pushing them over the trails and covering the trails. So uh, that's something pretty interesting, to say the least. So we have the drone with us. We're going to be checking out areas. So, uh, woo! All right, folks, so we're proceeding out here. Uh, Devin said that he was up here uh, a couple days ago. And you didn't have nothing go on then? Okay. You know where all that tree over there is? Like all yeah, like yeah, all yeah, yeah. Torn out Interesting. No whoops, woos, clangs, bangs. Okay. It kind of looks like something there. You know what I mean? Like, ladies and gentlemen, like this tree here, this tree was pulled out here. This one over here is, you can see how high that is. That snapped and forcefully pulled this way, that over there. This one's pulled out from this side and, and folded that way. So it's almost like something just did not want, does not want anybody up here. Not just me. Thought I just heard rock get thrown. Like, look at this. Coming down through here, look at this folded right there. I mean, these are all over the place out here. And that's forcibly broke. But there's no tracks. Like, there's a lot of mud, folks. But there's no tracks. No uh, big footprint tracks. Holy crap. Look at that, folks. Holy shit. Dude. Dude, that's pulled. That's pulled. That's not, that's not weather. Yeah, that's like 10 feet. Look at this. All right. That's crazy. Like, look at, look, look at, folks. Right up there. Holy crap, yeah. That's nine and a half, yeah. And then you got to figure, if Bigfoot reaches up his arm, it's even further up. So it's, what, about 12 feet? If he can reach his arm up. That's crazy, dude. We've never seen that before. And we've looked, too. But I want to check that high line out. The high line's over here somewhere. All right, folks, we're going to go over here and check this high line out that I put up in the trees, if I can find it. Remember where I put it. Ouch. Ah, this is going to be rough. Because I don't remember exactly where I put it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I put it, man. <laughs> All right, let me check here off of me. All right, 
right, so I gotta find my position. Yeah, I'm like right next to where the high line, where I put it. It says I had it right here. Yeah, right here it is. Right here it is, folks. Dude! Yeah, the high line's busted, folks, right here. This was going all the way across here, guys, to the top of that, to the top, right there, to the top of that tree. Something that tall went through here. Right here's the other piece of the high line. See, I have it right here. Look at this. Look how high this was up in the tree. And it's busted, dude. Right there, folks. That's the second one that I found that was busted. Look at this. See this? Look at that. And it was going, I had it going across, okay. Wait, I'll show you. Right here's the other one. Look at that. Right here's the other piece. You can see it. Right there. That's how high that was. That high. It was just like that. <laughs> it was just like this. See the line coming up? That's crazy. Now I pull them out of here. I get them out of here for, just so the birds and stuff don't get caught up. I'm gonna, there, I'm going to get them out of here. Folks, we had these rocks right here stacked up. And they're knocked down now. That's crazy. Yeah. They were, we had them stacked, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, what could have done it? You know what I mean? Like, what could have done that? Wow. That's all I could say. Just wow. All right, folks, so we're, I'm gonna put my landing right here. My landing right here. So that goes in there. Let's try to get this going. It's probably going to take a little bit longer, folks, because of uh, GPS. Um, it's not that good today. The, my app says that it's not that uh, feasible for flying this today. So let's uh, hope that it is feasible. Checking gyro sensors. All right, now we wait. We wait for the GPS to um, start locking on. <laughs> All right, folks, we're gonna launch this up and see where she goes. All right, elevation, lower. birds that's above that tree right yeah
the uh the batteries lasted pretty good i lost some i lost my fpv though i lost uh, some of the fpv it went out and then it came back on over this way and then it came back on over here and i think it's a lot a lot to do with the trees the tree cover i'm pretty sure it's got to fly it over that way but i don't think i'm going to see anything because of the trees you know what i mean like there's too much vegetation. I, I could barely see anything up that way. I could barely see anything up that way. It's just way too damn green. All right, I'm going to fly it over here really quick. And then bring it back. It's like a pond. Mm. Must be all the runoff catches. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're right. Looks like up by that bridge almost. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna rotate around. Panning around. Back to our direction, I think. Nope. Yeah, right here, I think. Yeah. All right, we'll return her home because the battery's going low. Oh, yeah, I'm right on the run. Right here. It has to lock. Okay, folks, so now, uh, since uh, we checked this area out with the drone, we checked up the power lines with the drone. This rock is right here, is knocked down. Uh, we don't see anything else that's mysteriously weird here, except us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, right now, we're going to move back to the vehicle. I'm going to grab my backpack, grab another thing of water. And uh, we're gonna loop. Do All right, folks. So we're back to the vehicle, having a sandwich here. And uh, this is all the equipment we normally use, utilize out in the field. And we got Devin, of course, here, rock and roll. Rock and roll. and uh, um, we went out. We were successful on this test run we're doing. And uh, the drone was successful. It came back alive. <laughs> It didn't crash and burn. Um, I had a little bit of problems with the FPV, but I think the monitor 
it just had problems with the the height and the elevation i think and it just the signal i had i have to get used to it but we did that and we're back here to the vehicle and then we're going to be going up uh around make our run or our walk and uh we're going to see if we see anything so keep it squatchy keep it real <laughs> All right, folks, so right now we're moving on a circle flank. We're going to be circling around, going back up into the one field here, and then going up to where the cameras are, where the fire pit is. We'll probably <clears throat> start a little fire and try to make some noise, make some, play some music, whatever, on our phones and uh, see if we can draw any attention to ourselves and uh, we'll see what happens after that wow look at this look at this right in front of us there's another freaking tree right in front of us man that was pulled out Oh yeah. Oh, another picture. Holy freaking crap. That's crazy. That didn't just fall like that. Right? That was that was pulled, right? Pulled out. That's just like, you know, I grab a That's crazy. How many of those we've seen so far? I'm gonna use a flashlight for right now until we get to this spot up here. All right, hold on, dude. Oh yeah, we're off trail right here. <laughs> it's so freaking quiet up here. This is really odd. So uh, uh, that's it for this camera, folks. So uh, we'll see you in the next camera. Okay, folks. So we're we're right here. We're down by the fire. We're having we have a fire right here, a small one. The mosquitoes are bad. I'm glad we have a lot of smoke here. Just looking around here. I heard a snap over that way, but I mean that could have been anything. Ooh, hear that again? A big, huge snap right over that way. All right, guys. So I went live a little bit and just got done with that, and now, and now a lot of activity uh, looking around a little bit here and all right let's see what's going on
try and get a recorder to try and make noises, see if we can hear anything. Eh? I don't hear anything, though. Uh, I think that what, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to probably throw rocks and see what happens, I guess. Right as I turn off my freaky thing, freaky tree knock right up this way. I got something walking, man. Right, right up this way. Fireworks are back. Like I was thinking, if you see that lo that log up there, I'm gonna walk up to that log, try to make some noises, and then walk back down. That log roots right up there. That is right there. I heard, I heard a knock over this way. I did. I heard a freaking knock earlier. And I heard something walking. That's definite. Alright, we're going to move back down. 
there's something walking up this way. A little bit. I'm trying to make a lot of noise. And the reason why I'm making a lot of noise is to draw attention to whatever's up here to follow us down. And the best thing to do up here in this location is draw attention to yourself. And that's pretty much what we do. Let me go check this out. Okay, so now we're trying like my music over here and then he's got his music up there so we're seeing if anything comes down through. All right guys so now we're leave we're gonna leave this area here We've got these activities here and uh, now we're heading down this way and heading across the field heading back down towards the devil's mouth what we call area X here and uh, we'll see what other kind of activity we get but at this time I mean we've seen many things heard many you know heard a lot and uh, seen a lot of different types of tree structures and tree bends and breaks and trees pushed over the trails and a lot of different things so so we're heading What the freak? What the freak? This bush. What the? Is that coming across the trail? What the freak? I just heard a whistle. Up the hill. Yeah, that's pulled down. Yep. Holy freaking Christ. We got another pull down right here. We got another pull down. That tree right there was pulled down. Dude. I think I just heard growling up the hill. Bro, shh, stop, 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 stop. Whistle. Oh, I see something red in front of you. Yeah, it seems girl. Fucking red. It was right, barely right in front of you, something red. Yeah, it's Quick, and it was like t towards the ground. Yeah. 
I'm looking through my thermal right now. Oh, 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 right in front of you. Snap, big bang. Big snap. Dude, this is creepy. There's some power on my freaking thing here. They wrap the tin and clean it around my leg and try to pull it. Hear it? Hear the whistle? That's behind us, man. It's coming, I feel it. It's coming. We got some creepy stuff going on right now. We got some really creepy stuff going on right now. We got whistling it behind us. Is it a spirit? Or is it a, a, an animal? Should I whistle anymore? It's right up to the freaking campsite where we were at. We had something coming and following us, folks. It was, it was, it's right up there at the campsite. Right where we were at, it is whistling back at us. Should we go down by the devil's mouth or what we should do? This thing's following us, whatever it is. Or is it going to come from around? It's coming. I can hear it going through the grass. Dude, if it, if it, if it comes right there. Huh. I can hear it walking through the damn grass. Crazy man, just crazy. So right now he's lighting some herbs. I smell uh, it smells like sage. Yep, sage. All right, all right. 
so he's lighting some sage to like do a cleansing. I'll get behind. Whoa, 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 I just heard something so I can move up in front of us, dude. Sound like a knock behind on our, on our left. Alright, so he just lit some sage. So we'll see what that does. I heard them whistling behind us. That was pretty creepy. I could do the exact same, same whistle it did. It just went. Just like that. He's got some sage going right now. So it's basically cleansing us as we're moving through. Why are you doing that? Why do you want to anticipate something coming at you? Because that's what we are, research group. We try to research absolutely every every ounce, every possibility is a big thing that we can. Tilling the missiles. Yeah, I record the sound, yeah. Yeah, the sound and the whole action. I was freaking... Uh, the thing running away, I don't know. I might have got it. I don't. I was recording as I came in. But I seen it. I seen it run away from you. And that looks like dog prints right there. Not here. These are deer. Whoever that... It was, it was low, it was, dude, it was only about, I see, it's the weirdest things, folks, that happens around this place. Weird. Odd. That's a search. I seen something there on the ground. It looked like it was a reddish thing, and it was hauling away from us. That's what it looked like to me. Okay, so, truthfully, folks, uh, we had a lot of activity today, and, I mean, in the last parts of this expedition, we were sitting, we were sitting up on the, up, up here, we had a fire going, and then we, then I heard, it sounded like a knock, a tree knock, and then we heard what it sounded like, tr uh, rocks getting thrown, and then what it sounded like, a uh, whistle. And a really low whistle, tree knock, and then movement we heard. And then we proceeded um, proceeded from that area down through the field and into this into this one area. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, you know, uh, something blocked the tra you know the trail. And I hear something that is like growling. It sounded like it was growling or whatever. I'm gonna turn this off. Growling. And then all of a sudden. All of a sudden, Devin jumps back, and he's like, something just touched my leg. And then I looked, and it looked like there was a, like a little type, little reddish, reddish, pinkish creature thing, whatever, on the ground, running away from him. And I'm like, I, I was bizarre. I was like, what the freak was that? And then all of a sudden, on top of that, we started hearing a whistle. And then we're like, ah, it wasn't really a whistle. And all of a sudden, it was like, I mean, whistle. And then it and then it did it again, right? And then all of a sudden, it just I heard something coming through that freaking field, coming right at us, like right through the field. And I got so scared. I and I had my I had my uh, thing out, my freaking thing all ready to roll to try to protect the terror tourists. And it was crazy. Um, the rest of the day, the rest of the day, we, I seen. Um, like tree bends, tree structures, pulled over trails, uh, pulled over the trails, and also we flew the drone, and my freaking high line that I had out by the one platform was snapped, and that was seven foot high, seven and a half, eight feet high, way above, and then on top of that, there was a tree, what, about 11 feet high, 
where something had literally pulled it down and snapped it. Crazy, crazy time tonight. I mean, it wasn't the, the you know, 100%, you know, bangs and, tree, you know, that we definitively normally heard, you know, over the time. But whatever it was, sat on the outskirts, waited for us to move, and then it followed us. And then it, it just kept whistling. What do you think, dude? Yeah, there's definitely something out there tonight. When we were sitting there having the fire, we kept hearing something moving to our right and it wasn't too far away but it was far enough right. away that we couldn't really hear it right so after we moved down towards devil's mouth fully into that area the trail yeah of the trail we were standing there because jason thought he heard whistling and, I and growling it. yeah and growling and then i was sitting there and i felt something grab my right leg it was like Kick my light on. Look, there's nothing there. And then Jason turns around. He's like, "Yeah, there's a little red thing running away." From yeah, it was like a red orb or a red something yeah. on the ground, and it was about it was about the size of a, a basketball, maybe or something. I don't know. It was like yeah. it, like some type of a maybe a red orb or something. And I mean, that's probably not good, but I don't know. I seen it move in the field where the tower is started. Yeah, man. Dude, I got so scared, dude. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, I'm still on I'm still on the edge right now. There's definitely something going on tonight. I give it about an eighty percent. Yeah. So so overall, you know, with the tree bends over the trails and stuff. And there's something around and it didn't like us being here for some reason. And and that's the same way it goes with all the 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 pullovers, pullovers yeah. over the trails, right? It just yeah, stay away. Exactly. Because if it's pulling stuff over like that, it doesn't want you around. And then it started whistling back up in this valley there, yeah. or on the where we, we where we were. It was kind of a creep. It was a kind of a creepy moment. Yeah. <laughs> Very weird. And then I'm like, dude, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. And it was like right up there. I. I just felt something. Yeah, and you just Dude. walked out okay, in the field. When we went back out into the field, we just felt like dark. Yeah, and then it felt it felt like whatever it did it went through and went around. Yeah, it went around the top. The top. Out around, out around yeah. Which is true. Yeah, that's where I think that that it went. Try to get another position on us yeah. to try to get another, but it tried to blank us. And put I mean, right now, I mean, it's just intense right now being right here, but, yeah. uh, so, so overall, you give it about a, yeah, eight. I give it about an 80%. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And, uh, hopefully we got some footage on the drone too. <laughs> so, uh, from, from expedition number 63, trying to be a little happy here, uh, from expedition number 63, um, goodbye, stay safe, wear your mask, and make sure you got your social distancing going on too as well. And uh, keep it squatchy and keep it real. Woohoo! In the moon. I wonder if you.